In this edition of INN CEO Talks, I'm joined by George Bach of Valor Resources, a company with assets in copper and uranium in Canada and Peru. George, welcome. Well, thank you, Stuart. You know, in reading materials about your company, the value proposition of Valor, uh, explain it to our viewers. What what exactly is it that you're bringing forward? Because you know you're you're really connected into copper in both Canada and the United States and uranium. Uh, tell us more about Valor. Yeah. Okay. So look, I joined the company back in uh, in 2020, and at that time we were putting in uh, a number of assets and properties from our uranium portfolio in Canada. And so this was focusing at exploring for uranium in the Athabasca Basin, given the clean energy push, zero carbon emissions, and uranium was going to be and is a big part of that drive forward. So we've been uh, focused on developing those assets in Canada, um, building a team together to really put new exploration techniques into an area that hasn't had a lot of exploration activity underway and look for a uranium deposit in the highest grade deposit, highest grade region in the world that's produced uranium over 2%. At the same time, the company had an asset in Peru that it had for a number of years. And as part of our review of our assets, uh, we undertook some basic exploration activities 12 months ago and uncovered an outstanding copper project uh, in Peru. Again, when you look at it from where to be exploring for things like copper, Peru is the second largest uh, producer of copper in the world, only behind Chile. And when you look at it from a silver perspective, it's the second largest producer in the world behind Mexico. So really finding places which have um, got a track record of, of producing large quantities and high grade products has been a focus for us. So with two projects in two different continents, where do you uh, direct the, the majority of your energy right now? Uh, and I ask that because both copper and uranium, we see the markets shifting and the demand for both on the horizon rising. So where do you put the greatest amount of your energy right now? Yeah, look, that's a really good question. And I know for some investors, um, having copper and uranium in one company can be quite uh, challenging um, because they would like to be more central, you know, focused on one commodity. So it's something that we are looking at doing at some point in time in the future when we get defining moments in our projects that really have enough value that we can have them as separate um, companies, for a better word. Um, where do we put the greatest attention? Look, um, many companies have diverse um, uh, focuses and for us, uh, we've got teams that are focused in Canada and we've got teams focused in Peru. So in the last 12 months, it's fair to say that we've spent more capital in Canada, um, both with all our activities up there. But at the same time, whilst it's been lower expenditure, we've undertaken a significant amount of work. So, you know, we've got two groups of, um, of focused people in country that are looking at our properties in Canada and in Peru. So whilst that might not answer your question specifically, um, we are advancing both projects because of how excited we are about them. But from a, net, a capital perspective, I'd have to say Canada. So you have these two projects uh, and two different uh, metals that you're uh, focused in on. Uh, in both cases, uh, are you looking uh, in the long term to vend in with majors? And as you pointed out, you, it, I, and I sense that you are because you pointed out that you already have people looking at uh, your properties. Yes, yeah, so look, I mean, if you look at the experience of the, the board, for example, and some of our senior management, we've taken some exploration projects all the way through to production. So we have got experience of being uh, operating at all facets of the um, value chain, if you like. So early stage exploration, discovery, um, taking it through feasibility studies, and then also producing from uh, successful exploration. Uh, we've worked in the various commodities. So what we need to focus on at the moment is making sure that we've got uh, a high proportion of our efforts with the right people. So we've got a lot of uh, geophysicists, geoscientists, geologists that are working on developing our properties at early stage, getting them drill ready, drilling them um, and aiming to find that discovery, if you like. So once we get through that process, the project will really dictate how to best efficiently and effectively 
add value for our shareholders. Now, if I take the example in Canada, I mean, uranium is a uh, challenging commodity when it comes to taking that through to production from a uh, from a process of managing all the um, uh, the, the procedures and processes that surround the complexities around uranium. Um, so depending on what we find will really drive how we take that project forward. In Peru, we're looking for a large copper system there. So again, the biggest hurdle at some point in the future will be a large capital injection to develop the project should we find something as big as we're um, aspiring to find. So again, when we get to those points, depending on how the market rewards us, where our market capitalization's at, what the cost of capital is will dictate which way we go. So um, at the moment, our real primary focus is to discover. So in the immediate future, do you have the financial resources that you need to be able to move forward on both fronts? Yes, yeah, so look, um, over the last 24 months, we have been successful in raising capital when appropriate. So uh, late last year, we uh, went through the Canadian flow-through scheme and were able to raise $5 million through that process um, which has enabled us to really advance the projects in Canada, um, given that the Canadian flow-through scheme requires you to spend the money in the ground. And then uh, in early 2022, we raised money for uh, advancing our Peruvian copper project. So, you know, we're, we're always mindful that until you're in a revenue-based uh, business, um, you'll always be looking to shareholders to continually develop your projects. So um, we've got sufficient capital at the moment, but like all micro-caps, um, we'll always be looking uh, to advance the project. We need funding. So for investors who are looking at you right now, what would you say to them is the opportunity immediately and potentially long term? We know that investors come and go, but uh, what should they be looking at in the, in the near future to say that, that uh, you know, Valor is a good uh, place to put money? Yeah, look, um, I'd hope that they'd be looking to see it's a great place to um, put their money into investing in Valor. We've got two outstanding projects. Now, for some people, they'd like to be seeing a company more focused on, on uranium or copper. I'd say to them that you get two for the price of one. So you're seeing a company that's got two great opportunities. And, uh, you know, we aim to discover one of them. We hope to get both. Um, but right now, if you're a uranium bull and you're looking for companies of um, where are they located, we're in the Athabasca Basin. Um, we've got a, quite a significant amount of people focused on our project. You know, the Athabasca Basin is located in Saskatchewan, which I think a lot of people um, definitely outside of Canada don't appreciate the journey um, of that province where there was a, a big gap of uh, activity that was undertaken probably from the 70s and 80s all the way through to the latest boom. Um, and you can imagine how advanced exploration techniques have come over that period of time. So. We're applying a lot of modern exploration techniques like using airborne gravity surveys to support the knowledge and information we have on the ground um, that we've done through rock chipping, soil sampling, mapping to really hone in and give us really focused exploration targets. Now, we see that the end of this year, early next year will be a big year for us in the Athabasca Basin where we will advance those exploration targets, be it a, um, based on surface or geophysical targets and we'll start drilling those and hope to discover a great deposit in the Athabasca Basin. In Peru, we're going through the approval process at the moment to get our drilling permits. Um, once we obtain those, then we'll be drilling some amazing targets that we've identified over the last 12 months that are looking for porphyry copper systems. We've got a great IP resistivity um, results that show a two by two kilometer target uh, around our pitcher project. And we've also got some amazing um, rock chip samples, uh, channel samples, mapping that really support the IP resistivity survey. So we just can't wait to get on the ground in Peru and start drilling. So, you know, we're really developing these projects and I think investors can see that um, we have advanced them from what, we, what they were two years ago to where they are today and we're on the cusp of drilling. So for investors, now is a good time to be looking at you, to watch, maybe uh, place some money uh, initially and, and grow. And of course, you know, everybody looks for updates. Uh, when can we expect to hear you know, further confirmation of what you believe to be there? Yeah, so from a uranium perspective in Canada, we've got uh, results coming through from our airborne gravity surveys that were undertaken around Hook Lake um, and Clough Lake. So we've got some updates there. 
we put some outstanding surface samples from Surprise Creek into the labs a couple of weeks ago. So we should get results there hopefully shortly to demonstrate um, the excitement of that Surprise Creek project, which you mentioned in the introduction, which I've probably um, uh, glossed over, but the Surprise Creek project has, bo has got both uranium and copper as potential there. So um, a fantastic opportunity there. Peru, we keep working the ground. We're right in the middle of an IP resistivity survey there. So um, that'll be processed and be out to the market in the next one to two months. That will show that um, one of our newer projects um, that is to the east of our pitcher project, um, I think has got as many, if not more exciting targets there. So I think you'll see a lot of news flow to do with the development and the drill ready aspect of our projects. Great time to be looking at the company and I hope you'll come back and give us updates in the future. I certainly will and look forward to presenting some great results to shareholders and your network. Wonderful. Thanks for your time today.